What's up guys, it's your boys and Wolkie back with another scary, terrifying, and creepy video from The Ultimate Discovery. We're about to watch a video that, well, we're going to start a new playlist. And this playlist is pretty much the scared phobias that pretty much haunt our dreams. And the first one we're going to do is Thasmophobia, or not Thasmophobia, Therizophobia. I can't remember what it's called. But it's it's pretty much the scare of the ocean. Scare of the depths of what's underneath your feet when you are floating in said waters. And we're going to be watching it right now. So grab a chair, grab some popcorn, and let's get her tear on with the deeps of the ocean. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe right now by hitting that white bar icon down the bottom right. Hit the bell icon and next to it. So when I do post videos like this one, you guys will get that little ring notification that I've posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, I thank you guys so very much for the continued love and support that you guys show on this channel. We are still booming by the numbers and it's all because of you guys. So make sure you guys continue to subscribe, comment, like, and share. Also go over to the Ultimate Discovery. Give them some love for putting this to or put in this video for us to enjoy and get scared excessively scared because i do not want to go in the ocean and definitely want to give them some love so with that being said let's get into the video and see what is in the ocean that i don't want to be seeing touch feel whatever let's take a look. so it's pronounced therosophobia is the scare of the the dark waters what's underneath what you can't see and all the above so with that being said uh, let's get into it Still unmapped and unexplored, the enormous underwater realm remains a scary mystery. The ocean is one of the most terrible mm. places on Earth due to the fear of what lurks. Yep, nope, the... nope. Prepare for dramatic shark nope. encounters, weird underwater ghost soldiers, and spine chilling situations. Here are 20 scary encounters in the ocean. 20? Number 20, yeah, no. Shark Statue. A nope. terrible shark sculpture abandoned oh. in New Chateau, Switzerland, is one of the most terrifying artworks you may have come upon. Numerous films have emerged exhibiting this intimidating artwork, which has been worn down by the water and is periodically swarming with little fish. Its eerie presence has oh. curiosity about its origin and attracted people from all around the world. This spine-chilling sculpture was built in 2007 for the short film Chocolate. The shark appears in the film, gliding beautifully across the water in several sequences. However, as the production wrapped, the team was at a loss as to what to do with the shark. As a result, they decided to throw it into the ocean in order to scare the divers who visited the region. This Hell no! shark has now become a popular site for adventurers. The artwork, which measures 41 meters in length and 40 meters in depth from the beach to the lake, inspires all and dread. No. Surprisingly, this lake does not have just one sculpture. Without a doubt, diving in this lake is a terrifying and terrifying experience. Yeah, its underwater no. artworks elicit both apprehension and curiosity. The discovery of these strange sculptures has sparked an interest in further investigation and recording. Number 19, Whale Shark's Prank. Ugh. Some instances are so hilarious that they transcend linguistic borders entirely. A group of daring visitors in Indonesia had an unforgettable encounter with a ravenous whale shark. While on a business vacation in Talisayan village east Borneo Iqbal Nurkarim decided to go snorkeling they headed off on a boat journey with a group of other travelers to feed the aquatic animals along the shore the whale shark remained around even after they were permitted to dismount and swim Nurkarim can be seen attempting to snap a photo with the big beast in a video of the amusing encounter while yeah. the whale shark the swims baby. just below the surface he dangles from the side of the boat while he waits for his buddies to get the ideal photo the whale shark appears wide open as if it wants to devour Nur Karim whole. You His buddies erupt in me. laughing and playful yells in return, fueled by a mix of I'm pretty sure these guys eat like krill or shrimp. Terror and fun. <laughs> krill! Suey! Even if you don't understand what they're saying, their happy outbursts and gales of laughing express the shared experience. One can readily envision the interchange of comments and exclamations. Eventually, the gang feeds the whale shark leftovers to satisfy its appetite while Nur Karim watches. The whale sharks were friendly, but I didn't have the courage to go down there, said Nur Karim's buddy, Edaho, who videotaped the scene. It's important to emphasize that despite their enormous size, whale sharks pose no danger to people. Despite their 
massive jaws, these gentle giants eat plankton and other little sea animals. Krill. Number 18, jumping shark. Ah. A few of New Zealand fishermen were taken aback when a giant mako shark rushed out of the ocean and landed on their boat, delivering them with a catch larger than they had anticipated. Ryan Churches, a skipper of Churches Charters, described a bonkers event that occurred while he was bringing five clients fishing off Witianga. The gang had gone out to Witianga. catch kingfish when their bait was abruptly seized by a short fin mako shark, the world's fastest shark, capable of reaching speeds of up to 46 miles per hour. Holy. As they struggled to bring the big shark in, it began to hop around, causing churches to warn the clients to get away in case it sprang into the boat. To their surprise, the shark the did actually land on the roof of the boat some 30 seconds later. Churches recounted the incident as follows. We were all watching the rod, and the line was going out to the side of the boat, and it changed direction suddenly. It just happened to jump at the same time, and we got a hell of a fright. The shark was roughly 330 pounds and was nine feet long. Fortunately, both the crew and the shark were uninjured. The extraordinary encounter with the mako shark left the fishermen in awe of marine wildlife's might I didn't know and how much unpredictability. Weight it was. Number 17, Whale Protects Scientists. Ooh. In 2017, a unique scenario between marine researcher Nan Hauser and a protective humpback whale occurred in the seas See, near the Cook out. Islands. When a 15-foot tiger shark approached Hauser while she was conducting research, she found herself in a dangerous scenario. A gigantic humpback whale rose from the depths as an unexpected hero. As the wow. shark approached Hauser, the whale positioned itself between them, forming a protective barrier. The whale gently nudged and moved Hauser away from the possible danger, shielding her with its head and lips. The astonishing interaction lasted around 10 minutes with the whale exhibiting unrelenting commitment to protect Hauser. The action, which was recorded on camera, drew worldwide attention. People were astounded by the idea of interspecies communication and empathy as the whale appeared to recognize the danger Hauser was in and made proactive efforts to keep her safe. Wow. The film revealed the sea giant's deep and sensitive personalities. Although some skeptics questioned the intentionality of the whale's actions, Hauser firmly believes that the protective behavior was deliberate. She contends that the whale displayed signs of emotional attachment, showcasing the depth of connections that can exist between humans and Still marine scary. <laughs> the story sparked discussions nope. among scientists and animal behavior experts, shedding light on the intricate relationships and behaviors that unfold within the animal kingdom. Number 16. Seal Attack the terrifying clip, which quickly seal went viral, attack? shows a juvenile seal assaulting beachgoers at a renowned South African tourist destination. The video had been shared on TikTok and got almost 2 million views. It was filmed at Clifton Beach in Cape Town, and it captured the terrifying moment when the seal leapt from the beach into the shallows where a youngster stood. Panic flooded the air as a number of men raced to the child's aid, while bystanders yelled in terror as the seal leapt for the boy's legs. Within seconds, yells Why? of, get out of the water, echoed over the beach as the seal closed in on a lady in a bikini swimming in deeper waters. A group of, of bare-chested guys leapt into action, one of them holding an oar as an improvised weapon. Oh my god! A voice behind the camera shouted, capturing the awe of the moment. The brave rescuers were able to grasp hold of the seal's tail and flipper, quickly hurling it back into the sea like a discarded rag doll. Oh, Jules oh. Farrell, a Those representative are thick, from an Australian though. Marine Mammal Rescue and Conservation Organization, later gave insight into seal's hostile behavior. She she emphasized the necessity of never standing between a seal and open water as it obstructs their escape path and might make them feel threatened, perhaps leading to an attack. Many people, uh... according to Farrell, are unaware that seals are wild animals. While people may have seen them in zoos or aquariums where they have been educated to do specific behaviors, the same rules do not apply in the wild. Number 15. Ghost Fleet. Wow. The Caroline Islands in the South Pacific are home to the mysterious Ghost Fleet of Truck Lagoon. Approximately 250 Japanese planes were destroyed, and over 50 ships were lost during World War II in a surprise strike by American allies. One ship alone took the lives of an estimated 400 Japanese soldiers who were trapped in the cargo hold. The majority of the fleet is still there today. The classic film Lagoon of Lost Ships by Jacques Cousteau in 1969 attracted attention 
attention to the wreckage-filled lagoon, displaying many of the sunken vessels still housing the remains of soldiers. It looks wow. as if the skeletons are going to war. Japan launched recovery operations, and many victims were later recovered and returned to their respective homelands for appropriate burial. The question that haunts wreck divers is if the pained spirits of the crew and passengers haunt those who dare to examine the wrecks. Divers have reported having unsettling emotions and weird moods when diving these wrecks. Oh. Some claim to have seen incomprehensible phenomena hiding in the depths, filling them with wonder and uncertainty. Number 14, Swordfish Attack. Paolo yeah, Eduardo, a saturation diver on a mission to do a small repair on the seabed off the coast of oh. Brazil, was attacked by a swordfish on April 2016. The event, which occurred while Mr. Eduardo was operating Did from a stab his backpack, vessel, was videotaped and quickly went viral on social media. Saturation divers are specifically trained professionals who operate at considerable depths underwater in pressurized boats, performing activities such as repairs, installations, and demolitions. Mr. Eduardo was concentrating on his repair job on the water floor on this specific day when the swordfish unexpectedly entered the scene. Despite its attempts to extricate itself, the swordfish's bill became entangled with Mr. Eduardo's diving equipment. Mr. Eduardo was noticeably uneasy as the event progressed, causing him to make his way to the two-man bell that gave him vital oxygen. Fortunately, reports indicated that Mr. Eduardo was uninjured during the incident and his Good. oxygen supply was unaffected. Andy Seymour, Fugro Brazil's subsea services director, reflected on the occurrence, saying, It was a very unusual operational incident, and we were relieved that both the guy and the fish were swimming around at the end of it. This unexpected encounter between a saturation diver and a swordfish shows the unpredictable nature of working in the depths of the ocean. <clears throat> Number 13. Scared Celian. Kirk Fraser, a Comox resident, had an unexpected and incredible encounter when he took his parents and a friend on a boating vacation to Powell River to see whales. They had no idea they were in for an exciting display as a pod of orcas began hunting a seal in close proximity. Uh -oh. The crew of the Zodiac boat observed roughly 12 whales swimming about 100 meters away. The orcas were clearly hunting and playing with one seal, but then another seal's head appeared near their boat. Startled, the seal dashed beneath the boat in a frantic bid to flee with the whales close after. The seal reappeared, gazing squarely at the boat. The seal was struggling to jump onto the back of the boat before they realized it, as Fraser explained. Despite its attempts, the seal managed to clamber up aboard the boat as the whales gathered near the engine, which was switched it, like, off at panting. the time. Fraser described how the seal fell from the boat many times but kept jumping back aboard. The video captures the amazing moment when the seal successfully jumped on the boat with the enormous whales swimming close beneath. The entire episode took place over a period of 45 minutes. Number 12, Tiger Shark Attack. Yeah, this tiger nope. sharks are the fourth largest type of shark, growing up to 18 feet long and weighing oh. up to 2,000 pounds. Only the great white shark is larger among predatory sharks. Fisherman Scott Haraguchi was perplexed when his kayak was unexpectedly rammed into off the shore of Oahu. In in a video published by Hawaii Near oh! Fishing, Haraguchi described the experience, saying he heard a distinct whooshing sound and observed a broad brown item on the side of his kayak. Oh! He initially mistook it for a turtle, but quickly realized it was a tiger shark that had hit his kayak. Haraguchi responded quickly to the unexpected meeting, as shown in the video. He tried to fend off the shark's repeated assaults on his kayak by kicking it away. It happened so fast, he wrote, reflecting on the emotional event. I didn't realize it at the time, but I had pulled my left foot out out of the water and pushed the shark's head away with it. The shark ultimately swims away in the video, prompting Haraguchi to yell to his fishing buddy, Tiger Shark rammed me! Because of the adrenaline rush, he had to repeat himself to ensure he was understood. Tiger Shark rammed me! Holy. Haraguchi subsequently told the media that he saw an injured seal nearby and speculated that the shark was following it. Number 11, Giant Squid. That's another one. A rare nope. deep sea species appeared off the coast of Japan and was recorded on film by dead? a local diver, Yosuke Tanaka, co-owner of Dive Resort Tea Style in Toyuka City, who received a call from a ferryman who had observed a gigantic and unusual squid. Tanaka dashed to the area and dove into the murky waters of the Sea of it Japan. He came across the gorgeous creature, a big squid just beneath the surface. Tanaka described the squid, which was around eight feet long and seemed feeble and slim. 
sluggish. The speckled pink ocean dweller was seen swimming gently along the water's surface in a video released by Kobe Shimbun. There it was, an enormous squid, Tanaka said. Media, the deep ocean is home to giant squids, scientifically known as Architeuthis ducks. According to the Smithsonian Ocean, the majority of information on these elusive and unusual like organisms comes from corpses that float to the surface. The first live recordings of gigantic squids were made in 2006. According to Live Science, the squid's lethargic movement, physical look, and closeness to the water's surface indicate that it was likely in bad condition. You can tell this squid is nearing the end of its life by looking at its skin, said squid scientist Sarah McAnulty. A healthy, gigantic squid should have smooth, glossy skin that is somewhat crimson in color. This poor creature has gone through a lot. The discovery of this massive squid provides a look into the fascinating world of deep sea animals. I'm gonna Number leave 10, right there. Orca chases boat. Tourists celebrate and whoop in pleasure as they capture the moment a big orca chases their boat through the Gulf of California. This spectacular encounter occurred during a fishing expedition off the coast of Sinaloa, Mexico. The next day, Beatriz Acevedo Tacna published the video on Twitter, where it immediately garnered attention, garnering over 342,000 views and hundreds of retweets. The beautiful orca can be seen leaping in and out of the water in the footage while the boat speeds away at full power. Every time the orca appears so above the water's surface, the guests on board exclaim in delight. Another video filmed from a neighboring vessel catches the thrilling action as the whale pursues. Orca sightings have increased in recent years, according to local media, as they move to Mexican seas throughout the winter in search of a warmer environment for reproducing before returning to the chilly waters of the North Pacific. Orcas are recognized for their sociable disposition, despite their menacing reputation. They have the second heaviest brains among marine animals and are highly intelligent creatures. These wonderful animals have strong relationships with their moms throughout their lives. Their social structures are among the most sophisticated in the animal kingdom, second only to elephants and primates in terms of intricacy. Orcas frequently uh -huh. engage in play fighting and synchronized swimming, demonstrating the intimate ties that exist within their pods. Number nine, so hammerhead shark. A swimmer at Panama City Beach, Florida, had a heart-stopping experience as a hammerhead shark came right towards him, only to swim at the last second, narrowly averting contact. Katie Allison Thompson recorded the oh. incident on camera, and the responses of those in the background reflect the intensity of the close encounter. On a pleasant morning, the man was swimming at Splash Resort when the unexpected happened. Guests at the resort were terrified in 2021 when they observed a hammerhead shark make a quick lunge towards a lone swimmer along the coast. Closer inspection of the clip reveals that the hammerhead was really after a little fish, which appeared to be using the swimmer as a human shield, leveraging his presence to evade the predator's clutches. Oh, hammerhead sharks are itself. recognized for their predatory behavior and their hammer-shaped head aids in their ability to seek and capture prey. The head of a hammerhead is distinguished by two outward projections termed cephalopods. Their eyes, which are located on the sides of their heads, give them a panoramic perspective, allowing them to see both above and below, maintaining continual awareness of their surroundings. Fortunately for the swimmer, there have been no incidents of unprovoked attacks by hammerhead sharks. However, if he had encountered another formidable animal further away from the frequented seashore, the outcome may have been drastically different. Number eight, tuna crabs. Every year, an astonishing phenomenon occurs along California's west coast as thousands creepy of tuna things. crabs, sometimes known as squat lobsters, migrate from Mexico's continental shelf. These bright crustaceans congregate in enormous swarms that may be quite impressive. A like diver mine, in La Jolla, mine, California mine, had an mine. unusual meeting with these <laughs> interested tuna crabs, captivating their attention. The diver was holding a starfish in his palm, which aroused the crab's curiosity. They approached the diver slowly, gingerly examining his glove. They engaged with the diver in a polite and interesting manner using their tiny pinchers. Tuna crabs gathered in groups, intently inspecting the diver's hand. Some were shocked as the diver made little movements. It was like a mini-meeting with the crabs extending their small pinchers as though shaking hands with the diver. This touching exchange was recorded on video and instantly went viral, attracting the attention of spectators all around the world. The internet community participated in debates, leaving comments with their views and opinions. Some others considered the meeting adorable and heartwarming, They're praising cute, the unusual relationship the between humans and sea life. Others playfully imagined the crabs inspecting the diver's hand, taunting about friendship or the prospect of consuming it. Number seven, box jellyfish. No. 
Sail Rock in Thailand is well known for being one of the best diving destinations in the Gulf of Thailand. It rose 50 feet above the top of the sea, concealing a fascinating ecology beneath the waves, with 150 feet of granite stretching downward. However, oh. perils lurk among the delights of this undersea environment, including the fearsome box jellyfish. These jellyfish, known for their cube shape, are equipped with very strong venom capable of taking the lives of humans. One diver may be seen in the film advising the other of the presence of these floating traps. He warns his partner of the dangerous tentacles that may sting him. Despite the warning, the second diver looks quite tranquil, perhaps oblivious of the severity of the jellyfish's sting, or confident in his ability to escape these harmful critters. In either case, meeting this translucent invertebrate while diving would be the very worst case scenario. The diver's luck alone. shines through as he avoids the touch with the jellyfish's menacing tentacles. Given the venom's known potency, the possible implications of such an encounter made his escape all the more fortunate. The diver should consider himself fortunate to have escaped this perilous encounter unhurt. If you have been stung by a jellyfish, try not to panic and see the nearest lifeguard as fast as you can. Number six, oh, Great White Breaks the Cage. This is my, a group my of divers scare. embarked on an exciting journey with sharks in a rare and dramatic diving experience. The action started when a diver entered the diving cage while others around were feeding the sharks with a rope and large portions of tuna. Oh, Suddenly, geez. one of the sharks, fueled by rage, attacked and bit something with such force that it temporarily lost its vision. The shark slammed into the cage while disoriented, inflicting substantial damage. With its sense of direction impaired, the shark was unable to swim backwards, forcing it to push ahead until it burst through the cage's railings. There was just one diver within the cage, but his expertise and calmness were vital. He dropped to the bottom of the cage and exited through the entrance without hesitation. Despite the presence of two sharks nearby, the diver the diver remained cool and patiently waited for the second shark to vacate the cage before ascending to the surface unscathed. The remarkable nature of the interaction astounded the tour organizers. They had never seen such behavior from a shark, let alone a cage being smashed. This unexpected encounter left everyone in awe of huh. these incredible beasts' might and unpredictability. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Before we oh, move man. on to the top five of our list, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe along the way. Do now, it. Let's check out today's ah. subscriber pick. This picture of what looks like a ghostly shark will give you nightmares. The menacing teeth of this underwater monster can rip a person into pieces in the blink of an eye. What would you do if you ever came across this terrifying beast in the ocean? Tell Grab us in the comments pants. below using the hashtag and subscriber die. pick. <laughs> Number five. Vampire squid. Yes, the vampire squid is a genuine animal. Despite its name, it is neither a vampire nor a conventional squid. This unusual deep sea inhabitant, scientifically known as Vampyrotuthis infernalis, or the vampire squid from hell, gets oh. its interesting name from its blood red color, cloak like webbing, and spiky, tooth like appendages. The vampire squid lives in the mesopelagic zone, where darkness reigns supreme. I've never As a even heard of this mechanism thing. against prospective predators, this intriguing organism twists yeah, no. its cape-like webbing inside out and unleashes a dense cloud of sticky bioluminescent mucus. The vampire squid from hell does not feed on blood despite its fearsome look. Surprisingly, this intriguing critter survives by eating plankton and the rotting carcasses of dead fish. It's Studying just... vampire squids in their native home, like many other creatures located in the deep water, is exceedingly difficult, resulting in a scant understanding of their behavior and yeah, ecological no significance. The intriguing traits and mystery habits of the vampire squid continue to interest scientists and ocean fans alike. While its name conjures up visions of supernatural monsters, the vampire squid is a fantastic illustration of the variety and fascinating animals that live in our waters. Number four, Yonaguni Island. A party of scuba divers led by diving teacher Kihachiro Aratake discovered something very unusual in 1985 while diving near the Yonaguni Island's southern border. A megalithic structure composed of ancient rocks with unique and regular forms, suggesting an so old Atlantis. metropolis. Based on soil studies in the area, further examination found that the structure might be more than 20 million years old. Surprisingly, this old metropolis had traits with other ancient societies from throughout the world. The core construction resembled ancient Maya or Sumerian stepped pyramids, and a unique stone creation reaching 140 feet tall was also unearthed. 
The constructions were intriguing because they had intricate components such as staircases, walls, and straight lines. A substantial number of pyramids reaching 33 feet in height and 6 feet in width were also discovered surrounding the monolith's circumference. The find, dubbed the Yonaguni Monument for its location, sparked a frenzy among scientists. It sparked years of investigation and resulted in opposing perspectives. Some experts thought the monument was man-made, while others thought it had a geological origin. Professor Masaki Kimura of the University of Okinawa led a team that engaged in significant diving and research operations for almost 15 years, beginning so like in 1992. Atlantis. They discovered sculptures of flora, animals, and even human forms, as well as infrastructural ruins such as wells and mines within the megalith. Professor Kimura determined that the mystery undersea building was certainly built by humans based on his observations. Oh, However, man. one unanswered point remains. How could such a complex community originate? Number three, years. anglerfish. These the things. secretive deep-sea oh anglerfish lives in the unfathomable depths of the Little ocean, where it is rarely face. seen in its native environment. Only a few recorded encounters with these unusual animals by deep-diving research vehicles have been <coughs> documented. Melanocetus, often known as the Black Sea Devil, is a little anglerfish averaging around 9 centimeters in length. This incredible film, shot in the murky waters of Monterey Canyon, <laughs> is thought to be the first time the species has been recorded alive and at depth. Anglerfish have an intriguing modification on their heads, light. a fishing pole-like device with a glowing bait at the tip. They employ this bioluminescent light to lure food into the depths where so light is rare, is bringing fishing. them closer to their enormous mouths. When a fish or squid approaches, the anglerfish's wide jaws envelop it, trapped by its long, sharp teeth. The angler's body form suggests that it was designed for ambush rather than speed. These insects quietly hide in the shadows, snatching unwary food as they pass. Notably, the anglerfish's body form indicates that Ugly. it is a female. Males in this species are much smaller and lack the fishing pole-like structure and lure. Their major function appears to be to locate a female and quickly mate with her. The deep sea remains a realm Sounds of like countless humans. surprises and fascinating <laughs> creatures. Number two, crocodile on beach. Ooh. A gigantic crocodile emerged from the depths of the ocean on a famous beach in Queensland, leaving fishers speechless. A woman had just pulled in two tiny sharks at Cardwell Beach in far north Queensland, is it gonna between eat the shark? and Townsville, when the enormous crocodile approached the coast. She hurriedly grabbed her phone and began filming the like incredible spectacle that was about to happen. As she held the captive sharks, the woman conveyed her predicament with a mix of joy and anxiety in her voice. Due to the oncoming predator, she was unable to return them to the water. The crocodile moved gently across the beach and into the shallows, getting closer to the capture. The crocodile moved in on the hapless sharks resting on the strand while the waves softly lapped at its gigantic bulk. Oh my lord, he's like one, two, three. Three, the woman screamed, her voice full of surprise. I can see approximately four meters, and he's still partially underwater. The he's crocodile's huge. sheer size was enough to take anyone's breath away. The crocodile consumed its prey with a quick and methodical move, munching on the captive sharks. Yeah, Once anyways. satisfied, the huge reptile moved away and went beneath the waters, leaving awe and amazement in its wake. Number one, Jeez. transparent cage. As yeah, the film no. begins, we witness no. a diver enter a ghost cage, which is a translucent container that produces the appearance of invisibility. He had no idea that this exhilarating journey would take a terrifying turn. The diver's pulse skips a beat inside the cage as he witnesses five sharks circling him. Their presence arouses excitement and interest, pulling them closer to the cage. One of the sharks pushes itself into the cage, almost breaching the barrier that divides them in a heart-stopping moment. The diver uses lightning-fast reactions to shove the shark away, averting a potentially fatal encounter. I the stress of the situation the causes the diver to quickly ascend to the surface away from the heart-pounding experience. Reflecting on the event, the diver recalls that he saw several different varieties of sharks while diving. The interactions, however, proved to be more intense than he had imagined. That's the unpredictability of being in the right location at the right moment is what causes these spectacular and sometimes terrifying experiences. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoyed this video we'll see you in the next one so that being said guys that was one of my phobias i got a few more phobias that i'm going to put on here um i want to know your guys' uh, phobias if there's a clown phobia there's a ladder phobia i don't know if do we have scary ladder videos but tell me your guys' uh phobias down below hit the like button for more of these kind of videos and we'll see you guys in the next one so keep it real keep it safe and as always keep nerding on and we'll see you guys next time